Hey friends and welcome to the Oh What A Beautiful Morning video series. It's Carolyn, it is November. It's November. Promise me that you won't like skip over Thanksgiving and just jump straight to Christmas because Thanksgiving is the best. Anyway, um, I hope you're having a great week so far. I know I am. I'm still in Ohio, loving it. Um, we had a rainy Halloween yesterday, um, but it's good whenever you're with family. It's always good. So, okay, let's jump into Romans 6, 5 through 6. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. So this is one of those verses that I feel like everybody and their brother knows or knows a verse that is very similar to this. And um, when I first, when it first popped up on my computer today, I almost skipped over it um, because I thought, oh, this is, you know, something that everybody already knows. Like nobody wants to listen to another reflection on this verse. Um, you know, we get it, Carolyn. Um, but something was placed on my heart, kind of a visual. Um, and it really, it like resonated with me so powerfully that I just had to share it with you guys. So, um, you guys know that, uh, when I was in, re when in, in inpatient treatment for anorexia, that I had a really powerful moment, um, at chapel one day. But it was the song, I'll never know how much it cost to see my sin upon that cross that really made me um, realize that my eating disorder was on that cross. And that's one of the things that Jesus died for, um, you know, forgiving me of that and um, rescuing me from that. And it took me back to this night in high school. It was a retreat I went on. And, um, one of the exercises that we did was over Lent and, um, it was like a midnight thing. We went into the chapel and there was this big wooden cross on the ground and we each had a nail and we were supposed to hammer, um, hammer our nail into the cross. But that night we were hammering one of our sins onto the cross um, for Jesus to take away that Easter, you know. Um, and this might get a little fuzzy because I'm, I'm thinking this out as I'm going, so just bear with me. But if we believe that our sin, our eating disorder, whatever, whatever we struggle with if we believe that that truly is being nailed to the cross with Jesus and we are the ones putting that there we need to also realize that we are the ones putting the nails through Jesus's hands as well which is a really really hard thought to think about we are the ones who put him there he chose the cross so that we could be free from our sins, so that he could take away our sins, so that we could get to heaven and live with him forever in eternity. He chose that out of love for us. He didn't have to do that. But we, in our sinful nature, we needed a savior to get to heaven. And Jesus chose he chose the cross. He chose the nails. And so if we truly believe that our greatest sins are on that cross if that with Jesus, we also need to realize that we are responsible for putting Jesus on the cross. You know, because if we are going to live with him, we need to also die with him. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him 
so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be slavery to sin. That's, that's it. We need to join him in, in the death like his, putting our old selves to death, all of our sinful ways, all of, you know, our tr struggles and trials and all the things that are separating us from God. We need to put those on the cross with Jesus. We need to, you know, grow in union with him through his death so that he can give us new life because that's where the freedom is. And I'm nervous about sharing this. I'm like schwitzing. I'm like starting to sweat. Um, so anyway, let me know if this made any sense to you because uh, I'm kind of self-conscious about sharing it. But um, thank you so much for watching and listening to me babble on. Um, you know, today, as we go forward, let's just remember that. Let's just remember the incredible gift that our life is. We have been saved through the blood of the lamb. It's amazing. All right. Have a good one. Bye. And one last thing. I can't believe I'm jumping on here looking like this, but my dumb camera didn't record the most important part. And that's this. The two nails. We can't have one without the other. We cannot believe that we, that our, you know, our sin is on that cross underneath that nail if we don't believe that we put Jesus on the cross. You know, we have to believe that the reason that we are able to put our sin on that cross is because Jesus willingly chose the nail for you and me.